I put a bat on top of it. What? Did I you? should repair the- Yeah, I should... Repair the generator. Cool. How many for a badge? One, two, three. I need four more. I don't need to go through that door now. I'm not trying to go through the door. song for this right before we finish. Just need a your ex what the what the heck are you talking about obsession time to when she skips Jaitner that was piss easy well done stranger you're a genius oh Itkis I have a serious yes, matter to discuss with you. you after the broadcast after the broadcast now where did my plush bats fly off to it said plush, but it said it wrote stuff. Where's the last one? 
has to. And, oh god. Oh, oh jeez. I didn't realize. Jeez, old man. Pigeon. Where's the pigeon? Where's the on the wall that is not a pigeon that is a dove <laughs> is that portuguese no um oh, it's russian dude hedgehog i used to want a hedgehog but i don't know they're kind of a lot of work and i I would definitely, if I did get one though, I would definitely set up like a little outside space for it, for it to tootle around in. I also used to think, still kind of do, it would be neat to have a tortoise. You could just like let it loose in your yard. Really like a moving sculpture in your yard. And you can eat strawberries. Oh, there it is. I should have grabbed a box of raisins. I wish I had known. These craisins would be so salty. Thanks, buddy, but I've got more trouble. My cameraman just called in sick. Please help me. I swear I'll pay you back. Just turn on the lights and focus the camera. Hurry now. But I can't. I don't. Don't worry. Any fool can operate the camera. Look at him. He looks familiar. F -f -f on my mark, one, two, three. Hello, my naughty little girls and boys. Oh, shit. Welcome I... to the 600th edition of Vamp Kids. Once upon a time, there lived a sad little vampire named Fred. He waited and waited, but his fangs didn't drop. His mom told him he needed to get enough sleep during the day to grow fangs. But Naughty Fred would sneak out of his cozy coffin to watch TV or play computer games. He refused to turn into Don't a bat because games. he was afraid of heights. And he told his teachers he wouldn't read the vamp classics, not even Bram Stoker's. Soon all the kids had their canine teeth, but poor Fred wasn't even teething. So Fred's mom took him to the dentist. The dentist said, the Look kid will eyes. never grow fangs if he doesn't act like a vampire. So Fred decided it was time to do what his parents He's and really teachers said. And it worked. He started teething. His canine teeth grew in, pearly white and sharp. His mom and dad sent him on holiday to Transylvania for his good behavior. The end. That Thank you terrible. so much, friend. I don't even know how to express my gratitude. Can I get you discount tickets to a production? His voice is like the most annoying thing ever. I'd like to talk about Nina. Nina? Uh, right. Orlok is forcing me to marry her. I can't refuse him because he's older than me and the Count. He keeps saying, get married and move to Hollywood. So you don't want to marry her. That's great. I also don't want to divorce my wife. She's not a Transylvanian, but I love her just the same. He's already married. He can't get married tomorrow if he's not divorced. So then, why is he forcing the marriage? Childhood issues, I suppose. He didn't make it as an actor, and now he wants his daughter to make his dreams come true. But she doesn't want to be an actress. She's an environmentalist. I know, but the Count is very powerful. He did try therapy for a while, but he had a hard time taking orders from someone else. Therapy? Ugh. Yes, his therapist is Miss Janine Seward. Her office is next to the Vampire State Building. I'd be forever grateful if you could find a way to change Count Orlok's mind. Who didn't see this coming? He doesn't want to get married either. 
And he's not even gay. Of course, I didn't see that one coming. Oh, my nose! Mm. It's like Al Gore, dude. She's Al Gore. Oh, I guess we can leave it on. I'm not feeling well. Please Oops. come back another day. I'll have to convince her to see me. Some books on psychology might help. Why are you just saying... Uh, it's an emergency. Psychology. Ooh, now that's what I'm talking about. I'm many things, but a thief isn't one of them. Okay. I'm many things. Pay for it. I'm many. I'm many. I have to find money. I have to find money. Let's. I'm with many things, but a thief is not one of them, so I'm gonna s s get it in this car and steals it. The mailbox is locked. Oh, god damn it. I am not a thief, but I am. I'm many things, but a thief isn't one of them. I'm many things. I'm many things. How do I do this? I am. Oh, great on that corner. Oh, right on that camera. Please shorten the compliment. No, it's already too short. I don't know why I need six of these. It says Best Buy on it. Oh, I hate that noise. this I want to see what happens and I don't want to be up all night can we just can we just can we just where's the broccoli but so onion lum, lum, a spoon someone dabbling cooking crack on that oh there's the pot I might have been doing it now you can ring my bell Skeleton, got it. Now where's the next one? Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Ah, shit, there's one more. I think I ate too many nuts. Hello. I know all about the condition that you're suffering from. Surely a competent therapist like yourself should know the psychophysiological law of the proportional relation of the feeling intensity to the logarithm of the stimulus intensity, shouldn't she? Fuck off. What made you think I'm unaware of it? Hmm. Ah, the effects of the condition are increasing. I'd like to help you, Mrs. Seward, 